So have, working with two very strong teammates, have your ideas been fully heard, Diana? Or have they been lost a little bit in the noise? Not really, I've been trying to still, it's, it's, it's tough, you know, this, he knows what he's doing and she's, she's as loud as possible. Diana, but, that's uh, not even true. Again, this whole day I've been really, again, really quiet. But again. And you're being passive aggressive and that's not cool. I'm talking to them. Clay. The bulk of the writing has been done by Lisa. I'm not putting her, in a, I'm not putting her down, and I'm not putting her on a side. And this is not me trying to put any credit on anybody because everybody's here working, and I'm also trying to do something on writing. So Lisa cannot say I just should do everything. I can't even take your bull. I, I am shocked at this. This is completely unprofessional, and I'm very surprised how she doesn't even know herself. She doesn't respect herself, and she has so many insecurities that she has to deal with, and that then people has to deal with her. I have said patience. nothing, Don. I have been quiet as any of these people. And you have to tell him I'm loud. So if you want loud, honey, you got it. Lisa, you know what, you Clay, back me up. This isn't necessarily in Diana's wheelhouse. So a major bulk of the work has fallen on myself and Lisa. I am sick of this it's And you know what, to have you bring that in, you're a little bitch. I don't like being lied about. I'm in that boardroom and I give credit when credit's due. I tell Mr. Trump the truth every time. Even if I hate her guts, I say, oh, she was good as a project manager. The fact that she lied in my ear, you're too stupid to even do it behind my back, that proves dead from here up. So guess what? You're going down, Miss Universe. I can't take this. Do this thing yourself, because you are out of line as usual again. <laughs>